Breaking news, guys. U.S. court faces new dates on motion to release Tinubu's record with FBI, CIA, and others. I think these people are just playing with Nigerians. They are playing with Nigeria as a country as well. You can now understand the real problem of Africans. Are we our real problems? These are our problems. These people, they are the real problem we are facing. Now, so then go to turn things outside that. All this one, Nana, for words. President Bola Metinubu is now uh, one year in office. Uh, Atiku Abubaka, he tried to make sure that he say the head of this case, they not let him. Now, so they promise, 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 promise. Last, last, they turn the matter upside down and let it just go like that. Now, matter when we don't forget now, we don't say, okay, make it just be like that. You understand? Eh, make it just be like that. At least make we rest. You know, say, get some certain things like this when we say it happened. You hearing about the thing, the thing of the, it's going to make you the verse, it's going to make you the, the, the angry. Nigerians don't forget about this matter. We have moved on. You understand? We have moved on. So why are they bringing this issue back again now? This is not fair. This is not fair. Nigerians, the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia in Washington, D.C. has faced a new date to advance a motion to release or withhold President Bola Tinubu's record by its security agencies including the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, and Central Intelligence Agency, CIA. In 2022, anti-corruption campaigner Harold Green, uh, Greenspan teamed up with Nigerian journalist David Handain to submit a FOIA request for the FBI to, to turn over Mr. Tinubu's case files under their control, particularly his role in a narcotics trafficking ordeal that had, that had him forfeit $460,000 to the U.S. government in 1993. The files were also expected to clarify decades-long controversies regarding Mr. Tinubu's background, including the name, his age, and gender under which he entered the United States. Last September, the FBI granted Mr. Greenspan's request to release Mr. Tinubu's request numbered 2,500 2, pages which the agency said will be released in monthly uh, batches of 500 pages and then scheduled for October 2023. But Mr. Tinubu forcefully resisted the move as he pleaded with the court that he would be adversely affected should the files be in the public domain. Mr. Greenspan's efforts to expedite the release of the FBI files before the Nigerian Supreme Court could pass a judgment on the electoral dispute challenging Mr. Tinubu's victory were unsuccessful. Judge Bury Howell had, in November 2023, allowed Mr. Tinubu okay, to interview and oppose his record from being released, saying he had a right to protect his interest, given his claim that he would be adversely affected. But on Thursday, June 6, Ms. Howell asked the opposing parties, okay, Mrs. Greenspan and Tenubu to submit a joint status a report later September 3rd in furtherance of the matter. 
upon consideration of the parties joint status report directing the parties to submit another joint status report by September 3, 2024, advising the court whether any disputes remain between the parties and if so, proposing a schedule to govern further proceedings, Ms. Howell said on Thursday. So guys, when I don't hear and so they won't bring back, you know, sorrows when we say Nigerians don't forget. Now it be this matter. Now it they, they bring back again. They should just let us be. We don't work out come up for this matter. We don't work out come up. Now, if by tomorrow they return this, no, okay, if by tomorrow they now release these files and uh, what the uh, Greenspans and um, David on the said was actually truth. So what is going to happen? What is going to happen? What will happen? These people told us after election, uh, Nigerian politicians that did this and that, they were not satisfied with the election, this and all that. And what happened to today? You must still hear their voice again. See how they tell us, say. You see that matter when you go tell people, say, I beg, I let they pay me, help me pray. Nobody is praying for you. You have to pray yourself out. It's only we Nigerians can solve this problem by ourselves. If we cannot solve this problem by ourselves, it will remain with us. So when I hear people say we are calling on international community to intervene, how? Have they ever intervened in any matter in Nigeria? So why are you disturbing yourself? Deal with your problem. Nobody is saving you. Nobody is helping you. That is the situation we are right now in this country. This one, now, now just to drag us back again. We, they, we don't come up for that matter. Now, now, how to go, how we go take eat food? Now, it be our problem now. How we go take eat food? What to eat? How we go take this safe for our house, even when we they travel for road? That is the main thing right now. Anyway, what do you have to say? Maybe, I don't know if you have something, but for me, all these are just medicine after death because they have nothing, nothing important will come out from this. Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you and bye for now.